I'm Jabum. I uh, I do a lot of uh, speed running of Super Mario Bros. Three Mix. Yeah, he steals uh, records. <laughs> hey, it's not stealing at this point. Uh, <laughs> Technically, you're right. It's rightfully yours now. Yeah, the first time I, I took the record, it might have been a bit of a steal, but um, I feel like <laughs> at this point, uh, now that it's like three minutes under, that's pretty much mine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. That's like but, you uh, put in the work, you found some strats, you've earned yeah, it. Yeah, I've actually learned a lot about this game. I'm actually really excited to uh, point out some things to you that you probably haven't seen before. Probably um, not. Yeah, like I found out that Yoshi is just broken. Okay, um, cool. Well, no, 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 no. Let's not spoil it. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Just the, just some preview there. Okay, um, okay, cool. You hear that, guys? Yoshi's broken. Three, two, one, go. Sorry if I have the browser open. So there we go. I don't know if anyone's watched a lot of three mix before, but uh, you get a character select in this game, which is really cool. Yep, that's uh, dope. And uh, another big difference in this game in regular Mario three is the levels are much longer, and uh, in some ways they're more complex. Like there's a lot more things that you have to kind of circumvent, but there's also a lot more forgiveness. There's power ups freaking everywhere, yeah. so it's both easier and kind of harder at the same time. I think it kind of nullifies out. Um, and every single world is based on another Mario game. So this is clearly 1-1 one, one from Mario 1. Yeah, um, it, and it works that way with the worlds as well. Like, World 2 is for Mario 2, and since it's already Mario 3, World 3 was, uh, is it the six? The six golden coins? Yeah, I think it's one of the Mario lands. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. World 5, I think, is actually Mario Land 1. Um, and you can see I'm actually having a really sloppy start here because uh, it was one of my first runs of the day um, Damn. to start oh, out with. But I, I hate when that up. happens. Yeah. I end up getting warmed up, though, and ending up with a really good time. Um, Dude, so um, is the reset too high for the clips in level one, or is it not faster, or what's... Oh, it's definitely faster. I just uh, I don't need it to get records right now. Okay, um, okay, cool. And I always go for it, but as you see, I, I didn't have P-Speed coming out of that pipe, so I just... uh. Was that damage just, there intended or no? It's not intended. Okay. Um, but it also loses almost no time because the checkpoints just get you back to uh, to mushroom status anyways. That's what's really cool. Checkpoints. You got checkpoints in this game, and not only checkpoints, but the checkpoints work the same way in Super Mario World where they give you a power-up. But not if you're already big, right? If you're already big Mario, you don't get anything. Right, you don't get anything for being yeah. Big Mario when you get there. And if you saw, I just clipped into that by accident, but uh, <laughs> into those stairs. Right on. Okay, so so far from my knowledge, World One is. Uh, it, it, I feel like uh, some things in World One can only go so far, especially the first couple levels. There was a clip that you guys didn't see in the first level, but as he said, no need for that right now. Right, I'm actually getting it a lot more recently because um. I got a bigger TV uh, from nice. a friend, um, and now that I've gotten that, it's it seems really easy to see the pixel now. Nice. And um, how come no Firefly were there? Do you get one later on that's oh, easier? or? No, we're going to kill ourselves on the fish. Oh, that's um, right. Yes, so we don't need a Fireflower here. Um, now, is it guaranteed faster. that the fish always moves to the left after you die? As of revision two of this ROM, yes. <laughs> Right on. I don't I know see. why that changed, but now the fish always goes to the same spot every time. But that's not true for all the hammer bro movements in this game. Okay. Damn, so damn find... hammer bros, man. Yeah, I find it really weird. So uh, you told me a, a while back you used to have a lot of trouble with the stair glitch. I assume yeah. you, you got a pretty good understanding of how it works now. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I pretty much always get the second one. But the first one is like really big, so the uh, the place to hit it is a little is a little uh, harder to hit for some reason. Yeah, and uh, no, Luigi wasn't moonwalking there. Uh, he tried to clip through the stairs, but <clears throat> there's solid ground on the lower platform of the the ground. It's really weird. There's like two sections of ground within one yeah. tile of ground. So he was standing on that. So right. I did I did the clip. I just did it too high. Yeah. Um, another thing is when he goes back to the overworld map, you can look and see that there's some like dotted rectangles on the overworld map on the paths. 
that's to indicate that there's some levels that have secret exits that open up certain paths, just like Super Mario World. Yeah, and the multi-exits get really crazy when you have to do a 100% run. Ooh, that clip was so cool. I love yeah, that little like clip. That. The free clip. It doesn't even save that much time. But... No, it doesn't, <laughs> but it's just so much fun. Okay, so you got the first Fire Flower. So now you're Luigi for the entire run, right? You said you, cho you choose yep. randomly? Yeah, I just kind of pick something at the beginning. I I decide who's uh who's been doing well lately, and you know I evaluate them on their performance. Cool. Occasionally. Right on. I you normally the... pick Toad because he's a scrub. I like Toad. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of good PBs with Toad. Luigi's but, uh... neck is so weird in this game. It's true. <laughs> Look at the size of his mustache. That fish isn't always up there. Sometimes you have to fight him. Okay, so you got lucky here. Yeah, but you always have to do one hammer bro fight anyways because the fastest way to do the uh, Sphinx fight is to have a star. Okay. Later on. Yeah, so, that's in World 5, right? Yeah, I actually have to go out of my way to do a Shy Guy fight later on. Nice. How long did it take you to learn that level with uh, P-Speed and get comfortable? It was pretty early because it's early in the run. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's not that bad. This is this is the one thing that always got me in runs cuz I would never not go for the clip in Bowser's Castle cuz you skip the water section, right? Or is it yeah, right the, after the water section? And the water section actually has a lot of RNG too on where the fish is going to be placed and some of the fish placements are really terrible. So you always try to go for the clip even if you uh Yeah. You only have about like 4 or 5 tries though before you um you start losing time. Really? Yep. See, mine and I never looked at it as like Number of tries. Mine was like, don't lose Fire Flower, please. Nice clip. Third try. Yep. Third try isn't bad. Um, like I said, it's, a, it's around like four or five that you even start breaking even. But The position of my face is giving you OCD. I can move it. I can move it down here. I guess down there is a little bit better. I'll, I'll, I'll move things around. <clears throat> so I can see here you're not you're not even ahead time in world one so you can do much you can do better i can do way better because you know there's that one one clip too um yeah but it, it's like you're never gonna get everything in this game there's too many places where you can do skips and a lot of places where you can just get unlucky so weird no matter what you do at least one of your worlds is gonna have something that looks bad <laughs> yeah nice do you do the water yeah this actually is not normal pathing for that. Uh, I've kind no. of fell down. But that was a good recovery. and Very good. I want to see your climb. Ah, oh, the climb is so cool. I've done the P-Speed climb before, but uh, I think that the was just... P-Speed climb maybe It might take longer because you're like constantly screen wrapping, right? As opposed to just going straight up the whole time. Yeah, it doesn't save any time. It's about the exact same. So in this game with the flagpole, is it... Um, is it like Mario One? Like, no, does there's no, there's no difference. There's no, they're the same. Grabbing at the top and bottom is is the same. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. This level always yeah. annoyed me. Yeah, it used to annoy me a lot, but I pretty much got the the rhythm for it now. Yeah, look at that. And then it's okay for the slowdown. That's not the end of the world. Yeah, I mean, with keeping P speed, it's just uh, some turnbacks because the fireballs aren't fast enough. Yeah. I wish that those fireballs could hit those things off screen, but uh, <laughs> so <laughs> they they, they just don't. Do you ever go yeah. for this one right here for the? Yeah, nice, nice. Okay. So yeah, so far, might... no surprises for me. Yeah, nothing really crazy happens yet that you haven't seen before. I don't think. Uh, okay. World three has some uh, has some stuff you probably haven't seen yet. Yeah, well, there um, used to be World 3 things, but then they changed the version. Yeah. They updated and, the version. Used to be, And you used to be able to skip a level in World 7. You used to be able to, whenever the screen scrolls for the second section, for the first fortress, you could just scroll over the fortress. Oh, wow. But that's, we're not allowed to use that version anymore. I actually did find a, that out that I can skip a crab fight in uh, World 6, but... uh. Only sometimes. It's nice. RNG. Only sometimes. So he moves on the border of the screen, right? Whenever you... Yeah, you're going to be so mad at this Birdo fight. I got so lucky. Oh my gosh. Right there. <laughs> One, two, three. 
I was wondering at first, I was like, is he going to firefight him? But it takes like, what, 60 fireballs or something? It's it's 15 fireballs per hit. Oh my gosh. So yeah, it's like 40, 45, right? Yep. Nice. I hear something Whoa. you might not have done. Nope, I've never seen this. Now, this part isn't that bad. The part where you clip into the wall, it's getting out that sucks. Oh, the jump? Yeah, it's four frames from what I Holy. was uh, oh, I'm, I'm... Get that out of here. 7-1 all the time. I always jump out of the wall of 7-1 in Mario 3, but I had no idea you could do that. Do you know how much time that would save over my PB? It's right a lot. There? <laughs> that that's, is... one of the, that's one of the clips you can fail the most times and still save time. <laughs> okay. Dude, that was so good. Nice. And that's actually a discovery by a uh, classic gamer eighty eight, if you know who that is. Yep, I know who it is. Nice. I saw him put that in a run and I immediately fixed You're... my run and got a new record with it. <laughs> right on. This is the SMB three Super Mario Brothers three hack, yes, and we're talking with the world record holder right now. And we're watching his video. We're doing a review of it. And so far, it's pretty damn good, man. He hasn't messed up too much. A couple clips here and there. Maybe mild optimizations of P-Speed, but barely. So, yeah, and <laughs> not much this time. Game had it, since the levels are longer and there are kind of a lot more obstacles, I don't, I don't think it's uh, as easy to keep P-Speed in every level the same way that you can in Mario 3. Exactly, I agree. This this hack's long too. That's what I liked about it, right? Like, oh, what about the clip there? Oh, that's a bad clip. It's, okay. It loses time. <laughs> okay. I I remember a clip being there, but I don't remember if it's like good or bad or anything. Because you come in on the left side of this room, and the door's on the right side. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here you're gonna get the. This is surprisingly harder than it looks, guys. Now yeah, that like every time you miss two, um, you have to wait a long time for him to walk off. Yeah, if you miss your jump, it doesn't matter because the spiny has already loaded once you've jumped up. So if you miss your jump, you can't jump back up again. Are you sure this is faster? Yes, I timed them both side by side. Damn. Um, I thought the only... just left right falling down was faster. It literally doesn't get faster until the last leg of it um, when you're running to the door. That's oh shit! Okay, damn. Nice. That jumps hard, deceivingly yep. hard. What, what controller are you using now? Are you not using that weird USB one? Are you? No, I'm. I'm actually playing on a real NES. Oh, thank God. Okay, so obviously that hit wasn't intentional, but I think you get a power up right before the boss. Yep, and actually mess up the boss. There's a way to do a cycle skip on this boss that um that I do later in the run. Okay. When cool. I fight the rat a second time. Yeah, you're able to throw this second one if you wait. Well the thing is if you take a hit with the rat, he gets hit twice for some reason. Oh cool. I didn't know that. That's like yeah, an easy five second save as well. Yeah, it's really weird. I think it's because the invincibility in Mario three is based on the clock time and doesn't care about frames. Cool. This is all mystery science theater. So there's a there's a clip in this level, but it's like seven seven in Mario three, right there, right yeah, at the it's pipe. Horrible. Yeah. And where it's does that take you? It takes you it. close to the to end, the doesn't end. it? Yeah, straight to the end. Yeah. And that it's that's annoying. <sighs> that turnaround always gets me too. Nice duck jump. Okay. There's another power up at the. Oh, it takes you right here, doesn't it? Yep, right yeah. there. Yeah. And the music changes when you're in mid-wall, which I find really weird. <laughs> That's really cool. There's no wart, uh, like, time saves yep. that I've yep. found. <laughs> the only thing I like to do is clip into the wall after I beat him. I try that, too. Um, I always go for it. So there's no end world. I'm not talking about mini bosses during the world. I'm talking about the end of the world bosses. There's no end of the world bosses that revolve around having a fire pattern or fire kill, right? They no, all I... need to be killed in their intended way that the creator, like the yep. the sequence that they want. Actually, the um the Sphinx and the um the robots in World Seven, mm -hmm. um if you kill them with fire or ice, which you can do, it'll soft lock the game. 
Damn. Well, how many hits does the spaceship take? Not as many as you'd want. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, nice time save. Because <laughs> I killed him. Uh, I killed him after he died. You know how you can keep shooting balls at them after they die and they die again for some reason. Yep. Uh, I did that and it soft locked the game. Jeez. So right there, that question block there, you is um is a carrot, right? And the older yeah, version you used to be able to keep P speed and grab the carrot and fly up and skip all of this. Oh my god. Yeah. You can clip there for a really tiny time save because pipe going through pipes takes a really long time. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's not worth trying. <laughs> cutscene cutscene pipe times are roughly four seconds, where you exactly. go in a pipe and the screen changes and then it goes to where you go and then you come out of the pipe. It's about four seconds. Yeah, that was a fat gold. Look at that. Thick. Juicy. These splits aren't actually accurate to my world record, by the way. I, I reset them when I uh, changed the route a little bit. Okay. So this is actually about 40 seconds slower than the world record these splits are. Oh, damn. Now, I can't remember what my PB was. It was 11 or 13. Ooh, that lag. Yeah, there's so much lag there. It's just really hard to yeah. get perfect control. But you're getting a power up through here anyways to do the skip. So it doesn't yeah. matter. If you, do you do this and you jump up. And then... So what you do there is you're a... he's actually skipping an auto-scroller, which is amazing. Yeah, there's an auto-scroller and a pipe that you're supposed to use to get over here. And normally I take a hit from one of those skeleton guys. But when you if you don't get the uh, the damage boost it's not really that big of a deal if you know how to do three with a bunny hood nice okay this you can't hear it but this level has inverted mario 3 music it's really weird 111 47 okay okay so yeah you smoked my time is this where you get your first um ice suit yep yep the ice suit is probably the best part of this whole game i think so as well there's just so many good things you can do with it yeah, I really love it. Um, it's it made the frog suit like good. <laughs> exactly. Like if the frog suit just had the ability to shoot ice and do all this fun stuff, we'd all be a lot happier. Exactly. So, the booze are the Hammer Brothers in this. Now you get unlimited tries, don't you? Until time runs out. Even if you fall, you still don't die, right? Even if you fall, it just resets the fight. Yeah. It's really weird. We never use that carrot. Actually, we might. Really? Yeah, in, uh, but it's Ooh, it's the backup. Okay, I see what you're trying to do here. Yeah, I jumped nice. short I can try. because um, I found that the, the pixel for that one is like really awkwardly <sighs> low. If you get that one, that's another one, right? Yeah, that's another one, but you can't retry that one. Like, you try no. for it, but... You, yeah, you only get one try. If you do that, you skip this whole water section, right? Yep. Oh my gosh, so many time saves. Yeah, you should see the TAS at this point. <laughs> well, they're probably already in World 4. Oh, this is so hard with P-Speed. Do you do it? Nice, man. That's scary. Scary Bagary. Yeah, it always scares me. <laughs> but I can do it pretty regularly now. Uh, yes, this is a ROM. This is a ROM hack of Mario 3. I don't even, like... It's not even Mario 3. It just controls like Mario 3. No, it's dope. Okay, so he's on his next level. Is there a clip, or do you have to go inside? You gotta go inside. There's a clip, but it takes longer. Okay. It's like, uh, I actually did it in the task with the clip, and it's like the exact same time as doing it the regular way. <laughs> how fun? That's how, be perfect. how fun is this in the dark? That's actually not bad. You get to see the outlines, right? Yeah. And this fight went really well for me, RNG-wise. Like, uh... You getting the fast hit at all is rare. Yeah. Well, this is the harder one, right? The other ghost doesn't spawn the little ghosts, right? Right. Um, this, but so this, this guy, the... you just you just got to drag out the bone past the guy and kick it left every time. There you go. If you stay left, the little ghost stays left with you, and you can <laughs> pull him through. The little ghosts are so annoying. Yeah, now it's like completely solved though, so we don't have to. This is my about favorite them. level. Do you get the clip? Oh. There's a clip. <laughs> yeah, you clip in the stairs and you stay on the bottom, but it doesn't matter. You pretty much do the same thing, and then you do that. Yeah. Ooh, this level's so much fun. And then you shoot. Yeah, I like this level. You shoot. Okay, nice. You got it. Nice. I actually lose P speed here, which really upset me. Ah, <laughs> oh, right there. Yeah. 
Even though the distance isn't big, I mean, it's still... You still want it, obviously. It's like yeah, such a tiny jump when you get P-Speed if you don't want to waste time. Because unlike Super Mario World, you can be super high on the map at the end, but the um, the pole won't trigger until you fall down and touch it, right? Right. Yeah. Nice. This This level is surprisingly fun, even though you're just kind of swimming. You get to, like like all over the place yeah it's a really fun level just because swimming in this game is ridiculously pleasant <laughs> especially with this guy because i mean if you're the frog suit you're just swimming but this guy you get to shoot stuff now yeah how bad is this level if you don't have the uh frog suit uh not as bad as you'd think but pretty bad well what about in terms of length same answer. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so you wait a sec. Oh, nice. That was pretty free. Not as stressful. Yeah, Second hit's free. Boom. Boom. Nice. Nice fight. Yeah, and there's not a whole lot of ways to speed that one up, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wish I could find a cycle skip for that one. <laughs> World 3 cleared. And there is eight worlds in this, right? You only go to Bowser? Right. That's a cent yeah, that's any percent. Yeah, there's they... a there's a world zero, but it's only used in a hundred percent. Because the game still classifies you as beating it after you beat Bowser, right? Yep. Okay. So I get the Yoshi here, but it's just for uh safety. This level you can actually do slightly faster without the Yoshi. Mm hmm But you need just... you want this frog suit for like level three or something? Yeah, you need the frog suit in level three. Uh, and here's where you're going to see a small deviation. Like, in your run, you actually get to the pipe faster, but I found out that um, Yoshi has some weird things with him, and he doesn't have a going-through-a-pipe animation. So you get an animation skip, basically, for keeping him. Look at that. So even though you get to the pipe faster um in your you run. Save time going in the pipe yeah you were telling me about yep. that weren't you yep but uh i actually lost him there not on purpose um because you want to keep him for that second pipe entry too yeah right there um, you you must but... have just accidentally pressed up right because that's how you jump off yoshi you press up yep up and jump at the same time cool right on and this level is probably the most like you clench the hardest doing this level oh because if you don't go for the shots it's longer yeah, and the, right, like uh, this, the, you wanna yeah. The urchins have ridiculously huge hitboxes, but for some reason they won't get hit by ice balls. As easy. Where they can hit you. Yeah, yeah, right. Like they, sometimes, like it's impossible to hit them. You did pretty yep. well though. You smoked them up. Yep. If you lose, then you just play Flappy Bird here. I love this. Yeah, you can go ahead and link your Twitch in. Um my chat if you want if you want to are you are you in the chat right now yep okay cool <clears throat> in case some questions are asked or anything go ahead and link that up if you guys want to check out some i'm assuming you're going to do more world record attempts yeah i'm actually going to go at this pretty hard for the next month it looks like there you um, go and you did submit this to gdq but they didn't accept it right Yep, been rejected two times in a row. Damn, well, maybe next time we'll get a race going or something. Maybe they'll say yes to that. So I go for a clip here that you only get one try at, but we have to lose our power-ups here anyways. Why is so, that? Because you're going to see in in the next level. Okay. Because um, the next level is where I would want to keep my frog suit as well. There's like this ice, there's this water section at the end. Mm. No, the <laughs> next level is the one with the Yoshi. Oh, okay, okay. I I'm probably confused. You you'd know better than me. Yeah. Okay, this part's actually really fun. You get to do this in Mario 3 when it was only intended in Super Mario World, so that's always a good time. Oh, yeah. what the heck? Oh, you need to lose your power-ups anyways. Yeah, but usually I do it on this turtle. I just, uh, it's really easy to fall off those things. Um, <laughs> and doing this as a... Uh, as small Mario is slightly faster. Less and... lag? No, it's uh, it's just that you can do that jump left a lot easier. And, oh, that's uh, right. Yeah. 
But here you're going to see the next reason that Yoshi is broken, other than the... Uh, the... You get the free shell jumps. Yeah. Also, other than the uh, pipe animation thing, is uh, he does some other cool stuff here. We don't want that mushroom. And whoop. Oh, dude. <laughs> I had never saw that. That was really cool. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, if you jump off Yoshi, he goes um, one tile upward no matter what. So even if there's a ceiling above him, he just goes straight into it. And you want to know what's interesting with that is that that level, the tiles are in the design where you can't clip through walls. Yep. Like uh, like the pyramid in Mario 3, you can't clip through because that's that, that's just how the walls work. Those, You clipped unclippable walls. That's Exactly. Well, I technically clipped into the pipe. Yeah, okay, okay, that makes sense. Because you can definitely, no matter what tile set, you can clip into the pipe. And here, I almost always run into those brown blocks, so I wasn't expecting to get... Oh, there. okay, if yeah. If I had just run forward, I would have been fine. I see what you mean. That's actually, like, the first major mess-up of this run, I'd say. Because you really want the uh, the mushroom for the next level. Mm -hmm. So here's your first little battle. These little mini games are cool, especially with Yoshi. If anyone hasn't played this ROM hack, I would highly recommend you should. Uh, Bowser's yeah, not think... even the final boss, and that, that right there should give you a little, um, damn, I should play this, you know? But it is all you're going to see in this run. Yeah, we're not going to spoil the secret worlds and stuff. Yeah, although I do have a 100% run that I've uh, I've put on YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. It's four hours, though. Yeah, it's a long run. Strangely enough, also Luigi. <laughs> damn, Luigi's on the rise right now. Okay, yeah, so I, blame, this. I blame Bearcat. She's one of the most common viewers in my thing, and she uh, she always wants Luigi, so. I, I feel like I would let her down all the time, pick and toad. It's a strong lobby. Right? I always pick the toads. See there, the pipe? See, this is where I would want to keep the frog suit. But yeah. with the skips you were doing, I think this they isn't that slow. Time. And it's like, you can, those fish have, like, no hitbox in their tails. You can just swim straight through that second one. Oh, You're cool. If you would have kept your mushroom there, though, you would have got the the frog suit. Definitely. Um, but I was trying to hold down when I swam there, but I just didn't. Now you have to spend a lot of time going, like... Left and right and all this left stuff. Left and right, yeah. It's really so, annoying, but... For anyone who doesn't know, in Mario 3, you don't actually get the pleasure of pressing down and or up while, sw while swimming and have it affect your swim, like in Super Mario World. Like, in, in Super Mario World, if you hold down when you swim, you'll swim really low to the ground, and you'll do little swims. If you hold up, you'll swim up in the water really fast. But in Mario 3, it doesn't have that. But this one, you do have that. Which is really, really cool. I went really risky on that duck jump, because if you miss that platform, you actually just fall into the abyss there. Mm -hmm. That's what you were saying before about being small Mario's better. Yeah. Nice. Going for the peace this beat strats. Yeah, this is one of my favorite P-Speed levels, just because uh, it took so long to, like, figure out, and now it feels so satisfying. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why Mario 3 is so addicting. P-Speed is just, it's just way too much fun. There's no game like it. The only thing I can think of is maybe Super Metroid with the Shine Spark. So if I had grabbed that shell in midair when uh, I tried to grab it, uh, it would pull it back through Bowser Jr. and immediately hit him. And I would have had the shell in my mouth and been able to spit it back out at him for two hits in a row. So an instant hit and then like a cycle hit, like a cycle yes. skip almost? You skip an entire cycle of him doing these dashes back and forth on the ground. Dang. Uh, so... Yes, this is a hack. But unfortunately didn't make it into this run. And if you notice, I also drink a bunch of pop on stream like Mitch. Yo, sodies, man. That's my favorite. Sody pops. Okay, World 5. Now, what is World 5? I think it's the first Mario Land. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, there's not a lot going on here. Peace Beat Strat in this level is satisfying for me as well, I think. I don't know why. Yeah. It's just the start of the world. You just put it in its place and get out of there. Did not mean to get hit there. Mm, nope. 
good thing with mistakes is it leaves room for more improvement so that's always good yeah a lot of the the current reason that the record is so much lower now is just these like skips that i'm finding yeah star in this i agree i agree star on this because you kill the fireballs it lags less it's perfect This is so Super Mario Land. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got hit there. Oh, uh, so that was your first death right there. Yep, first uh, death. Okay. That's that's hard, man. You didn't die once until the fifth world. It's pretty good. P-Speed yeah. in this level is pretty tough, though, I'll admit. My first, uh, my first record was actually deathless, but it didn't have all these... Uh these additional strategies to try yeah in your 100 percent, did you do side clip to get that coin or do you go down and then come back oh, up? i just went down it's not worth it to try the <laughs> unless you get it, it took first try. so long oh it took me a long time to get it yeah <laughs> <laughs> i remember watching that video and going just get it <laughs> just go down Okay, we got the fire flower. This level's cool with P-Speed. Because you can, like... If you can get it, right? Right here? Yeah, um, usually I get it. This is one of the few times I didn't. At least I kept it, though. Yeah. Do you keep it if you P-Switch jump into the sand there and jump up? You'll keep it, right? Yeah, you'll keep P-Speed, but uh, you'll lose it before you get to the top of the uh, waterfall. Okay, okay. I get really scared by this second Shy Guy here. Oh my gosh, I was scared for you right now. Yeah, it's a scary thing. Nice. And, I like uh, this. Ooh, sliding's faster. You should slide. Really? Yeah, in Mario 3, sliding's faster. You get a speed of 46 where, or 56 or something, where P-Speed's um, 54 or 3 or something. I can't remember. He asked Tompa. He'll know the exact number. It's just he'll never let me not know that sliding's faster. Gotcha. I love this one, too. Mm -hmm. this one this scares me one. so much right right here what <laughs> what I know, you do a small jump <laughs> i like wait and stop oh nice off screen door nice very good ah oh. that part's so deceiving you're going for this oh nice secret exit and you didn't there's a third invisible block there he doesn't need it though yeah it actually sucks when you hit it and get knocked all the way down to the <laughs> to the pipe. Now, most people would think, well, why would you do an auto scroller? But it's faster this way, right? Yeah. The other one has like two extra levels. Mm hmm. And now, do you know how long this auto scroller is? It's like a minute. A minute. Yeah. Right on. It's uh, it's pretty it's... pretty harsh, but uh. You know. Well, it's not that. Like, right? You got the first section, then you got this tunnel section, then a water section, and it's over. Oh, it's so cute. Mark <laughs> Luigi just sitting there. Yeah, if you actually stay in the corners on these levels, you don't get hit. I don't think the sun was meant for an auto scroll level. <laughs> no. It's way more tailored to moving fast through a level. Yeah, because he's based off your movements. But if your movements are based off the speed of the level, then, you know, the sun's always going to have his. Now, you wait to go in the pipe here, right? I do, because I've been crushed there, like, twice. Yeah, that's exactly how it... That's what we do in Mario 3 in World 5, Level 6. You can get crushed. It also, uh, it takes a long time to of playing this game before stairs are comfortable. In, in reality, they never become comfortable. Mm -hmm. Just to throw that out there. Okay. Now, I've actually kept P-Speed through this whole level before. But uh, I don't think I do it here. Well, look at that boost. I don't think I go up there either. But you did. But you're gonna use a uh, a penguin suit in the first level of World Six, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's get to it. get past the black ooze stuff, right? Yeah. So like your power up in this whole world doesn't really matter. And this guy, he does a really uncomfortable jump every once in a while, so you you want to buffer your height above him a little bit yeah and as soon as you enter the door you want to jump right because sometimes 
Yeah, he'll do a jump and, like, immediately stun you. Yeah, as soon as you enter the door, which is so lame, I think. Oh, look, they did a tribute to SMB3 mix, like in Mario 3. <laughs> okay. This is one of the easiest airships, though, right? Yeah, you just go right. <laughs> yeah. Almost nothing can hit you if you're just going through the frame fast enough. Again, it was a air. It's based on an airship that's meant to be an auto scroller, but it's not. Exactly, and I mean, World Five airship is the easiest airship, anyways. And I hate this guy because he's the only boss that still has a hitbox after you hit him. Like right there. <laughs> Everybody oh, that's else right. is like, he, yeah, he's got no eye eye frames, right? Yeah, everyone else just completely disappears when you hit them. Like, even Wart. Yeah, yeah, yeah even him when you throw a Shy Guy at him, right? Yeah, because I always run through him if I have to, if he has the uh, Shy Guy go right. Nice. I like clipping there, too. That's always fun. So, what world do you think is the hardest? Probably this one, or, yeah, probably seven. Killing seven? Okay, that was yeah. fast menuing. Nice. Okay. Eight is basically free. <laughs> did you try and get P speed there? I did. Okay. But it's because otherwise you don't go backwards at the beginning. Ooh, I don't know what I clipped into there. You didn't. It looked like you accidentally pressed down. It, like uh, it completely killed my momentum in the run. That will happen if you're on a hill and you press down. Huh. Like right there, if you press down on like. As long as you're not going down the hill. But because you weren't sliding, you'll stop the slide. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what happened. Probably. Who knows? That's the only thing I could think of. I don't, I don't know if you, you clipped or anything. I tried a new strat here, but it was a bad choice. Because I missed. But yeah, you can just kill those instantly with uh, ice kicking. Yeah, I don't know if I did that in my run. No, you uh, you had a really hard time with these crabs. <laughs> I don't go good with crabs. Yeah, I think we do the regular strat on the next crab, and that one's actually really smooth, but it, uh, I didn't mean to do that. I was looking at chat. <laughs> Damn you, chat. You think that's what it was as well, Sanders? Who knows, man? You never know. This level's really pleasant, too, though. You just kind of get tossed around and... When I first fast. played this and I saw that there was Pintas in it, I was like, okay, this hacks to the next level. And then entering World 7, I was like, holy crap. Oh, I love this world. Or this level. I don't. Really? I can't this stand so this fun. level. I don't like that I can't get P-Speed at the beginning like 90% of the time. But yeah. <laughs> I think this is the best level I did in my run. I managed to keep P-Speed through almost the whole level. But... Ugh. Now, the, what's the Lego tile set from? What Mario game is that from? Mario Land 2, I believe. Mario Land 2. Oh, what? You must have been know, on, I like, hate... weird subpixel. I hate hitting those corners. I do it several times in this run, actually. Do you remember the Lego candy? It's like hard candy, but in shapes of Lego. No, I don't. I've done that loads of times in 5-2 Final Kaizo. A while I learned it. Yeah, that's where that's where Tompa does it, and that's where I did it in the task to to dead stop and bounce on the turtle. I hate okay. this level. This is the first level that introduces the purple soda, right? Yep. Okay. Oh my gosh, you scare me! Wow, you kept P speed. Nice job. Yep. What? I don't know what hit me there. Oh my gosh, I was like, oh, here comes the piranha plant, but nothing showed up. Yeah, there's nothing there. I just got hit, randomly hit. <laughs> that's weird and then you've got these uh sunshine people yeah this is pd right yep pd piranha mm -hmm. yeah. he's fun to kill twice because you know we hate him yo lax um, what but... up okay so so far the routes are similar as well yep I don't think there's a giant deviation in this until we get to the uh, the big fort. I nice. don't know what to call these levels. Like there are two forts in every world, like uh, giant forts and airships. And 
Uh, you should probably just do the Fort 1 and 2. Well, there's the big ones, too, at the end. The big the big ones? The extra large forts. Oh, that's right, with all the windows, the eight windows or whatever. Yeah. The big square ones, and then the Super Mario World ones, and then the SMB3 ones. Oh, nice, you get the skip. Houses. Oh, Oh no, you don't need to skip it, right? That's what you were saying? Yeah. You could have skipped it, but you need the item? Nice. No, um, you don't really need it, but it's nice to have. And it's the yeah the flower. It's it's good when you get to uh, eight one. F X X L. I don't even know what that means. Oh no! Worst level in the game. And if I'm correct, after you do this auto scroller, the level's still not even over, is it? No, there's a small section at the end after the auto scroll, but that part's not really a big deal. My goodness. You gotta kill all the crabs or else it lags a bit too. Good, that's that's some good strategizing. Do you do you remember which level has the Pinta's um arcade in it? The casino? No. You've, have you not found the casino? I have not found the casino. Did you know uh, there was a casino in this game? <laughs> Where is it? Oh, you got to find it. In this oh. world, one level has a secret in it where there's a casino. Dead serious. I'm not joking. I'm going to search for this for hours now, and you're going to tell me later that it's not even real? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God it's real. There's a secret casino in this world. Which is weird. Well, I guess they wouldn't show that in the TAS. Yeah, it's definitely not in the uh, the hundred percent run. No. Done that too. They should have put something in there though. In the hundred percent, like, like yeah. for fun. Something that you have to get in there. The casino is cool, but the strip club's better. Now, now, guys. Oh, risky business. I know. So, wow, the crab wasn't solid to the other crabs. They're just like, nope, going going through my buddy. Usually I just jump over them, but since I missed the first jump, yeah. I had to improvise. As you can see, I lost time in World 4 and 5, so those were not the greatest. Here, I don't get the ghost house skip again. No! Um, you can skip that whole level because uh, for one frame, you're able to jump straight up through that floor and skip this whole level. And that was in the world record before this run. Um, you had it not... in your record before this one? Yep. Ooh, that was Scary. close. What? Not even, man. You weren't even there. <laughs> it's okay, because, again, this is another level where you use a power-up immediately afterwards. Okay, cool. So it's okay to take some damage. Yeah, you can just run through those plants if you really wanted to. <laughs> Look at all this gold and green we got going on, man. Are you Are you getting nervous yet in your run? Not really. No? Does, does this game not make you... Oh, the, you told me about this, but I've never seen it. I don't even know what it looks like. It looks really cool, because uh, if you do a side-by-side -side of your run with this, it's going to look really bad. <laughs> well, yeah, you're making my run look like crap here. Nice. This is probably the biggest time save of between our runs. So this is like pretty much an auto scroller, and he's skipping it. So nice, and with room to spare. So it's not even yeah, that hard. Just getting that piece. It's actually beat. it's actually really hard. You have to get a really uh, fast flight there, and there are actually different speeds of flight. We found out. Oh yeah, um, the the, the flying you do there is the exact same as in Kaizo Mario Bros. Three in level two. So I'm, I wouldn't be too worried about it if I was trying it, but the average person just coming in it be a pretty big struggle right they could they could do that exact same flight path many times and not get it mm, that's right bloop bloop oh look at little cute guys trying next time i hate the pd battle with the water i always get this hit i found a way to avoid getting hit but um it's really weird what you like use the water reason, yeah if you walk off into the water even if you uh, do it a little bit late, what happens is PD clips into the floor and doesn't hit you either. Oh, man. 
And fire, fire doesn't kill the crabs like you would think, like how the ice does, right? You still have to shoot them twice with the fire. Yeah, it takes two hits, but they do bounce backwards, which is uh like useful for tassing. <laughs> yeah. Now this tricked me the first time I played. I got the also, checkpoint, there's... and I was, like, what's up? There's also a shit ton of invisible pipes here. Um, what? I don't. Yeah, like if you jump into a wall really hard and you get the uh, sub pixel where you clip into it for a second, you don't just clip into the wall. You go into an invisible pipe. They're everywhere. Oh my gosh, what happens when that happens? You just come out the other side. Weird. And here you can make the boss kill himself, which is fun. And how do you do that? Is it by not throwing it or? You uh, put him in the left corner when you hit him. And every time he comes down, he throws a shell at himself. See, I tried, dude. Like I knew about that from the previous version as well, but for some reason, I could never get it to happen. It's really consistent, uh, as long as he's really far over there. Um, and yeah, I just, I just let a uh, cycle go by without throwing it at him because it's safer. Mm -hmm. Just hold left and jump into the corner. Right on. Yeah, this is the oil world. What has the Pintas been doing with their land? I think I had a really good World 7 coming up here. You had a really good World 6. I know you could have made it better because um, certain pixel jumps and... Um... Okay, let's see. Yeah, just uh, a lot of uh, little things in World 6, but... Uh... So much fun. This world's so much fun. This world is amazing. Like, uh... Look at that. Upside down and right side over, and it's just so good. Look at that. Take right. that. I read a lot of stuff by the creator, and he was saying how this was like the first thing he did was make this uh, this mechanic of upside down, right side up, orientating. Yeah. Well, I, I assumed he wanted to make sure it worked, I guess, right? Well, it was just the thing he was looking forward to the most in the in the hack that he wanted to do. Well, it worked. Yeah, it was. Have you recently... died there before, where Mario didn't um... actually end up turning back around and you go into the sky? No, I haven't had that happen. Okay. Well, see, that's the beautiful world of Mario 3. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, I've definitely found a lot of new ways to die, even now. <laughs> uh, I, it's the physics in the level, Rourke. It just... I get it a lot in, um, what is it? The... Ooh, you scared me there. Seven, the seventh level of World 8, where there's the same mechanic, where you just, like, fly into the sky. World A level, okay. Because it's it goes uh back to Galaxy for one level. Ooh, that was a risky jump. This level's surprisingly hard with P speed. The whole level, from beginning to end, all this stuff's hard with an, and annoying with P speed. Yeah, it's very difficult to keep P speed in this. Mm -hmm. But I don't even try to keep P speed for like most of those jumps. But as long as you P speed to jump into the frame. You still get the uh, the piranha plant coming out faster. Yeah, so yeah, still, the level does it for you, Rourke. Still kind of a time save. Mm -hmm. That level is such a yeah. I don't like how many times you have to like shift the map around here. <laughs> I know the screen scrolls, but that's why it used to be awesome on the older version because the final screen scroll would allow you to skip the fort. Yeah. It's be so nice. I love keeping P speed in this level specifically. Yeah, it's looking good. Whoa! Nice. Everything like lines up just a lot better than I would have expected. <laughs> right into that pipe. Nice duck jump. Boom. Look at that. Whoop, whoop. The That's strats, I know. Looks but it doesn't matter if you just go forward all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to learn levels. Just keep holding forward and trial and error. This level is scary. What's up? I was saying this level is scary, but... <laughs> that's what I was going to say. This level for 100% is hard. I always get confused oh, yeah. every once in a while. And in 100%, you just take a totally different route. Yeah, that one, that one worked there. It's so impressive and fun to watch, right? 
Yeah. Killing it, man. And the physics in World 7 are really dope. Come on, screen scroll. Okay, so this is the first level where you see clearly it's got bosses and enemies from Mario Galaxy as well, right? Yep. Actually, the um, one of the ghosts... Uh, level world three levels is a galaxy level two, the one where you're swimming through the sky. That's actually from a galaxy game, but uh, swimming through the sky in which world? Yeah, world three, you said, yeah, three, 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 four. No, it's three, three. Oh, in the water, yeah, where yeah. you get your first uh, frog suit or penguin suit. Yeah, that's actually a direct rip of a galaxy section. <laughs> nice. I didn't notice until I played Mario Galaxy for the first time in October. Damn. Uh, I've always wondered, with these spaceships, the first hit, does he not throw out mini spaceships? I always thought he instantly killed them. Uh, he throws out mini spaceships. On on the first time you stomp them? Because he always... Oh, no, no. Only on the third. Okay. That's what I was wondering, yeah. I always thought he did, but he, he killed them himself. And I was like, way to go. But, no, he doesn't end up throwing them out. This is, uh, someone clipped this area. Um, in your Discord earlier. And I had to mention how ridiculously laggy this section is, too, with those cuberts. I was just so recovering from my heart attack that you gave me there. You almost <laughs> fell in the lava, but luckily it switched. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, that's just how it works on that stage. Like, uh, the way they have the orientation, you can't fall there. Okay. And that, I think he did that so that he could put a coin down there for 100%? Uh, or is that a that different level. level? Okay. That's a different level. Okay. It might that's actually the next be this. Sport. Oh, it's the next one? Okay. That's free hit? I love it. Yeah, I don't know why I hit that ice. Normally, I get P speed faster than that, it feels like. Because you can keep P-Speed there pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, this part's so laggy. Uh-huh. If only you had a shell when you first came out of the pipe, you could, like, throw it and try and kill everything. Yeah, that'd be nice. Right? Um, but shells don't go through pipes in this game. <laughs> if only. Yeah, they don't in Mario 3 either. It's annoying. Do they in Otherwise, Super Mario World? I don't know. I don't, I don't know Super Mario know. World that much. I'm sure someone would know. Nope, no power up for you. This part's cool. Yeah. Wee -hoo! I always thought that was really cool. <laughs> that is a really fun section. They do in Super Mario World? Thank you, Tina. I like that in this game, if you get hit and the power-up's already on screen, you still get the full power-up instead of, like, in regular Mario 3 where... It doesn't do that. Yeah. It just gives you a mushroom. You don't get what's displayed if you're small Mario. Like, if there's a fire flower and a question block and you're small Mario, you better believe you're not getting the fire flower. But in this game, beautiful. So do you... Okay, so you can boomerang those bosses, but you can't yep. fire flower or ice them? Right. And it'll... Wow, that's so weird. That's so strange. I never would have thought that. Oh, this level looks familiar. Yeah, and there's been a lot of back and forth between me and the real Gadian on which is faster between this and uh, um, the other level that you can choose. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure it's this one as long as you use an ice suit. Um, How come you don't get P-Speed in this level? Because you're jumping on very small platforms. Okay. Understandable. I mean... It's it's whatever's most comfortable. <gasps> oh man, I hate these urchins so bad. Yeah, the urchins just have really weird hitboxes in general. Mm -hmm. We have to be really careful around them. This is a ROM hack. That is correct. We're watching the world record right now of this ROM hack. It's really dope. Yeah, the other level it would be faster for sure if you could bring a tail into it, because uh, there's a part where you can fly upside down into a pipe and it just clips you through a giant section of the level. In this level? No, the uh, the other level that we don't do instead of the uh, penguin level. So it would be faster to do the clip, but it's not but likely? You don't have a, you don't have a leaf. Is the oh, okay, okay. In 100% you can. Yeah. How much time would, do you think it saves compared to doing the other level? 
Probably like 10 seconds. Okay, so not enough to do an extra Hammer Brothers somewhere else in the run to get a Leaf? Right. Okay. Also, which, which Hammer, bro? I mean, it would probably be in World 4, but those are like way up in the uh, north side of the map. And they do they take long as well the world four ones because you get the Yoshi and you have to kill ten that was too long. Yep, it, would, it was just just too hard to get. It's almost like it would almost be faster to do a mushroom house. <laughs> <laughs> mushroom houses in this game are also way better. <laughs> yeah, because they do a matching game every time. So you don't you don't want to ice this guy now because it'll soft lock. Right, yeah. I don't know why. Um, but it's not 8 to kill him, right? It's like 40 or some crap? It's a lot, yeah. Okay. And then there, you got another really long auto-scroller, unfortunately. Well, just like just like original Mario 3, it's auto-scroller, yeah. then two levels auto-scroller, and then there's like three auto-scrollers in World 8, right? Yeah, and if you look, this is actually the exact same airship as uh, the World 7 airship, but we're under it. Yeah. Look at that. And he put things under it as well, but you would yeah. never see that on the actual airship because the screen... Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that was there. <laughs> the little one up. I don't even think yeah. I've been up, up here. I was scared too at first because uh, I keep not remembering if there was like anything that would stop me from getting over later. <laughs> yeah. But it's just a coin. Just a coin. Coins are good though. 100% is honestly an adventure in this game. I would yeah. highly recommend anyone doing this hack. They should do 100%. Yep, at least once. <laughs> I mean, it gives Mario 3 like a much bigger purpose. It goes to show that they could reinvent Mario 3 in such a cool new way. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those levels are just really interesting. Mm -hmm. Like, Some of them are incredibly difficult to make like speedrunning strats for, actually. I agree. Just like that one we were talking about earlier with the big, uh, the big mm -hmm. blocks and the big plants. This boss, though. This boss, I cannot figure out how to, like, guarantee avoiding these fireballs. Like, he just waits until I'm, like, completely even with him. He reads your mind. And you mind. have to have speed to jump high enough to hit him. So, <laughs> you have, like, no choice but to get hit. Sometimes you get lucky. He reads your mind. Oh my gosh, I remember that episode. What does he say there? It's gold, Jerry. Gold. Yeah, that's right. Gold, Jerry. Be cool if Nintendo made their own Mario 3 mix like 8-bit game. Kind of like how they did with Mega Man 9 and 10. That would be really cool. Mm -hmm. They could just call it Mario 3.1. Nobody would care. Okay, so I feel like the creator just a little bit got a little tired out making um, the map of World 8. It's a little basic for me compared to all the other maps. Well, they're all based off of other levels. This is a uh, this level is eight one and eight two from Mario one. No, no, I know that. I mean the overworld map. Oh yeah, yeah. Just a little too basic for me. Like it was so artsy and like everything was amazing, and then we hit World eight and it just looks like a piece of dump. You know, it's just <laughs> just a big square, brown, and then nine levels in a rectangle. I don't know. This level's so hard with P-Speed the whole way. I don't think I've ever done it. Yeah, it's really tough. I actually... I think I've gotten a little better at it since this because I've been specifically practicing some of World 8. Also, the better you get, the more the more likely you'll get to play this world You know, every time you do a run, right? Or every time you right. do a session. How often would you say you finish runs? Uh... I usually finish only, like, one a night. Cool. Yeah, one a night's better than one a week, you know? Yeah. Mario 3.1 for the Switch, not bad. It'll never happen. Going up those stairs is really terrifying. So does holding left... Even. No, it doesn't work, does it? Nope. When you hold left on entering a level? Dang. So you do that Ooh. clip, 
and then this does a weird battle, which ends up being faster, right? Way faster, especially when you do a cycle skip. I think I did. I do this one in my run as well. One of my runs. Mm, I know I knew about it. it. You missed it in uh, the one run. Okay. Oh, I I don't think I did it in a hundred percent because I needed to. Yeah, you have to get the coins in a hundred percent, so you yeah. can't do that. Look at that time save. So first auto scroller, and pop quiz. It's a tribute to which level? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You know what level this is. I know what it is, but I don't know if I should spoil it for your audience. Oh, yeah, I don't know if... That shitty level from Mario 3. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. 2-4. Two, two, is this early hammer level? Level 2 or 3? It's World 6. You're right about that. It's World 6. One four no no. I don't uh, know where the I don't know where the second half of the level comes from though. This is World Six level two yeah. Dude, hello, dude got it all. Uh, there's a couple extra added blocks here though. Those blocks aren't normally there. The level. There's a lot of added blocks to just random levels. Mm -hmm. And removed blocks, which is actually really helpful in some of the airships. Yeah. Like, you can actually get P-Speed on some of them only because he randomly decided to make some of it smoother. Very good level creator. He should do SMB 4 mix soon. <laughs> this hack is amazing. Yeah, ever since Captain, I've played it, yeah. Captain Southbird, if you ever see this video, thank God for you. Jesus. Yeah, you made the most adventurous, fun hack. Look at that, free Yoshi's there. Yep. There's now, more Yoshis too if you lose that one, but not if you don't. Weird. Now this level's really hard to beat without Yoshi, isn't it? Some parts? Uh, not really. It's a, it's a pretty short level, actually. The first time I played this, I didn't know there was pits in the ground. The waterfalls. Yeah, those will kill you. <laughs> yeah, holes in the ground. Mario's greatest enemy. Cody pops. Okay. So I don't know if anyone's fully noticed, but the hammer suit has actually turned into the boomerang suit. <laughs> the boomerangs are really cool, though, people. They are. You know, normally I'd be like, oh, I like the hammer suit's too cool. Don't get rid of it. But either or, hammer suit or boomerang, they're both really cool. Pfft, out of my way, Pokey. Yo, yeah. Look at these strats. That was dope. I don't know why a boomerang kills him in the lower half, because fire only kills him if you hit him in the head. But look at look at your face and your webcam in the video. You don't even care that you're the best right now. You're like whatever. <laughs> you're, he's, he's not even phasing you. Hundred percent. I always forget about that one coin. On that drop down. Oh forget. yeah, I think I remember that. Like you had to play this level twice for it. <laughs> So annoying. Because I remember watching the video and going, man, I can save a lot of time by just not doing this one twice. <laughs> yep, I, all I have to do is complete the level normally, and I think I'll, I'll get the record. I don't think I ever read it out 100%. I think I just did a run. Unless... Oh, yo, thank you for the host. Man, I really appreciate that. Fonzoid. Welcome. Right now, we are watching Jabum's world record run of SMB3 Mix. He beat me by like a billion minutes. No, he only beat me by like three minutes, maybe two in a little bit, close to three. Which is impressive though, because I did run this for a little bit. Um, so we're doing the review now. It's working out really good. You can go ahead and post your your Twitch in the chat if you want. You guys should go. You guys should go definitely give him a follow as well. Nice. That was auto scroller. Perfect time for plugs. Yeah, yeah. that's Jabum right there. You guys should go check him out and follow him. He does runs. You said you were going to be doing runs for the next little while, right? Yeah, definitely. Um... Oh my gosh, don't scare me like that. Every time. I hate that little clip. 
definitely going to be doing runs through all of uh, December, probably January, unless I get like the God run randomly. Nice. 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 So, so one of the hands. Not yet, huh? Nope. Dang. Not yet. I feel like I'm gonna put this in the ROM hack editor and take out the last four levels and put in four hands. Oh God. <laughs> I don't know if you can put this into the ROM hack editor. Like, I think I've tried that. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. Yeah. Dang. I think in the Kaizo SB3. Um, sequel i don't know if i'm gonna put one two or three hands in it me and i me and a friend are been looking through the disassembly for this game though to try and make a new tool to make a uh, mario 3 hacks out of the elements in this game oh my gosh are you serious yeah that would be amazing yeah that's the goal someday but it's a very early in the process project <laughs> Oh my gosh, 20 levels, all hands? That'd be oh, an God. annoying <laughs> hack because, you know, people would just want to skip all your levels. Any difference this... in lag if emulated on PC? I'm going to assume this game lags just the, the same amount. Yeah, it's, it's the same. Because this game was originally and normally supposed to be played on an emulator, right? It wasn't... It was tested for, an, for NES hardware. It was or wasn't? It was. Okay. When he made it? Yeah, when he made it, at least uh, originally. I don't know about the revisions, if he went back and kept it tested for that, but... True. It seems to work fine on the NES, because that's how I play it. I have a cartridge that was specifically made for the game. Yeah, is it a red one? We have the same one, don't we? No, mine's a gray one. What? So I wonder if I have an older version then. No, probably not. Okay. We're at past the auto scroller Bowser's Castle. If you can zip clip here, it's nuts. Where? Right there on those stairs. What, like a seven seven clip into the stairs? Yeah. Where does it um, take you? To um the room that you have to go into the pipe over here to the left takes you to. So we're not there yet. Okay. See that You'll pipe show that me. Came out? Yeah, that pipe. Yeah, where it comes out, that's where that clip takes you. Oh, right here? Right there, yeah. Oh my gosh. But, this is you know, it's a easily the clip, scariest so. part. Your first time. <sighs> Man! <laughs> Here's where I break hearts. <gasps> My heart is how, broken. Look at how far back it takes you, too. What? Did you try the zip clip? I, of course, try it. <laughs> but it's Dang. actually a lot harder with little Mario because I'm used to bonking my head to push me down into that angle. Oh, yeah, that's right. Isn't the switch already activated though? Uh, nope. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I wish that it would have kept that, but it's right? after the checkpoint, so. Oh my gosh. Well, luckily for certain sections like these, you can just hold forward and run. Look at Luigi! He looks so goofy as Small Mario. He's hilarious. All right. You know, I worked yeah. so hard to bring the boomerang to Bowser to find out that it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can even fire kill him. I don't think so. It's not even the same Bowser. Like, it's got the same sprite, but... It's just a completely different boss altogether. Yeah, he's, like, rewritten it. Okay. No star? You're like, don't need that. It doesn't really matter. Well, like, do killed anything. everything. <gasps> if you kill everything, it doesn't really matter. Whew, man, I'm getting the shivers from... Nathan, this is um, the world record run of SMB3 Mix. I was a little on tilt there, so still was up. So are you nervous right here, or this boss is just way too easy, right? Once you get here, it's free. Yeah, like, okay. uh, it's free. I don't think I've ever seen anybody die on this. Mm, just, just you wait. 
I did die on it one time when I was getting really ambitious and trying to get him to uh, jump into the lava um, instead of just breaking three bricks, because you can get him to jump into the same lava spot over and over and then skip him... Uh, breaking bricks? Is that super hard? In. It's not super hard. It's just uh, you have to stand really far to the left on the uh, platform and you don't have like any room to... Uh, so like I push left and jump, and if the left movement happens before the jump then uh, you fall right in. <laughs> I think, yeah, like a 106.50 something would be pretty much as far as I can take it. You've highly impressed me. When I, Whenever I first played that game and started speedrunning it, it, it had almost just came out. It was only out for a little bit. When anyone ever asks me what, what best ROM hack I think is, I would definitely say SMV3 Mix. I think it's one of the best ROM hacks out there. Yeah, and it's, so. it's so approachable that it's... Uh... It's nuts. Like, you can look at, you can watch people do Kaizo hacks all the time, and it's like, well, I can't, I don't really want to even try that. Uh, that's what a lot of people will think, anyways. And yeah. this game, it's like, it's almost easier in some ways, but mm. at the same time, it's like speed running it isn't so easy. Exactly. It's it's like speed run applicable, but at the same time, like adventure, like it's fun. You know, it's it's almost as if Nintendo like released that instead of new Super Mario Bros. You know what I mean? Like it it yeah. feels like a Nintendo released game the way it's designed and um how the difficulty goes up. Like, uh, for um... anyone who does hold on a sec, for anyone who doesn't know this hack, there is also another feature. Once you beat the game, um just like Mario Galaxy, there's comet levels. So you have to go back through the entire game again and do challenge levels. So you have to do some of the levels over again by collecting 50 purple coins or 60 purple coins, and that will give you an additional um, uh, coin, I guess. I don't want to say coins too many times. I don't want to get confusing. Um, <laughs> and then some Comet levels you have to do as small Mario only. It's like little challenges. So that that adds more replay value to the game. That's what makes the game so amazing. Yeah, there's a ton of replay value to this game. Thanks again so much for all the help you've given me in doing this, because uh, I would never have gotten this far without Mitch giving me answers to questions all the time. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem, man. It, well, now the student becomes the teacher. Now I gotta ask you questions about stuff, right? <laughs> so that's well in this cool. game, yeah. <laughs> so I, you did mention that we had a before we go a special surprise that we were planning on doing. Um, I believe you have more of the details of what we could explain, but um, for anyone in, in chat, it's something that me and Javim have decided to go on together. So yep. would you like to do the honors? Sure. Um, sometime a little bit after Christmas, because I think that's the timing we agreed on. Um, that is right. Me and, me and Mitch are going to do a Switch giveaway together. A Nintendo um, Switch giveaway. That's right. You heard him. Yep. So there's going to be a way to enter that i'm probably going to use the uh what is it gleam.io or something like that um it's a place where you can get multiple entries for doing different things um just so, following us is the only requirement to enter the contest but you'll get extra entries for subbing to mitch subbing to me and uh throughout the month uh after we announce it we're going to sporadically release some codes that'll give you extra entries. So if you're watching us intently, then you're going to get even more entries. Yeah, that's right. Secret codes, baby. Now, how Absolutely much weird. does it now how much does it cost people for this giveaway? Uh nothing. Oh, uh, did you guys hear that? You guys hear that? <laughs> nothing. Woo. Woo. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks for having you and I I hope you guys get ready for the the Switch giveaway. Like you said, it's not going to be for a while though. It's not going to be for like yeah. maybe another month or so, maybe a little bit of time. But like we'll look at it after Christmas. Yeah, we'll so look if at you, it. If you don't get it for Christmas, uh, we'll be your backup. Yeah. Also, very impressive run, dude. I hope you keep running, and, and congratulations on that world record. You've definitely earned it. You've Thank you, man. It. That was lots of fun watching that. All right. Yep. Well, take it easy, man. See you later. Bye.